All right, let's get right into it. You hop into your trusty machine, ready to hit the road, and BAM! Your nose gets assaulted by that unmistakable, pungent aroma of raw gasoline. It's not just some faint whiff you can ignore, it's like someone spilled a jerry can on your passenger seat. Now a lot of folks might just roll down the windows and hope for the best, but let me tell you, that's a big mistake. A huge one. That gasoline smell isn't just an annoying nuisance, it's your car screaming at you that something is wrong, potentially something very dangerous. In this video, I'll walk you through the most common causes of gas smells in your car, what you should check first, and how to fix it before it becomes dangerous. We're talking about your safety, your wallet, and keeping your car from turning into a roadside barbecue. So buckle up, because I'm about to give you the lowdown on what's making your ride reek of fuel. Let's dive in. All right, let's talk about the big one, the most common and scariest reason your car might smell like gas, a fuel leak. This isn't something to mess around with. We're talking raw liquid gasoline escaping. This is priority number one. If you suspect a fuel leak, stop what you're doing and investigate, or get it to a mechanic pronto. Don't drive around hoping it'll fix itself. It won't. It'll only get worse and more dangerous. The most serious reason? A fuel leak. This could come from a damaged fuel line, a leaky fuel injector, or even your gas tank. Your fuel system is a network of pipes and hoses designed to safely deliver gasoline. If any part gets compromised, you're going to have problems. And those problems often announce themselves with that strong odor of gasoline. Look for puddles or wet spots under your car, particularly towards the middle or rear. Gasoline evaporates quickly, but often leaves a stain or residue. Use a good flashlight to get a clear view. Your nose is also a good detector. The smell will be strongest near the leak. Never ignore this. A leaking fuel system is a massive fire hazard. Gasoline is incredibly flammable, and all it takes is one spark. You've got a car fire on your hands. It's a fast way to lose your vehicle and put yourself in danger. This isn't to scare you. It's the cold, hard truth. You'll want a mechanic to check this ASAP. Diagnosing and repairing fuel leaks is best left to a pro. They can safely lift the vehicle and pinpoint the exact location of the leak. Trying to patch a fuel line with duct tape is asking for trouble. Gasoline is designed to burn inside your engine, not under it. That smell is a warning sign. Heed that warning. All right, moving on from the really scary stuff, let's talk about something much simpler but surprisingly common. Your gas cap. Yeah, that little thing you twist off every time you fill up. You wouldn't believe how many times a strong gas smell in a car comes down to nothing more than a loose, damaged, or even a missing gas cap. It sounds too easy, right? But trust me, it happens all the time and it's often the first thing you should check. Next up, check your gas cap. If it's loose, cracked, or missing the rubber seal, gas vapors can escape and cause a strong smell. Your fuel tank isn't just a bucket holding gasoline, it's part of a sealed system. The gas cap plays a crucial role in maintaining that seal, preventing liquid fuel from sloshing out, and just as importantly, stopping gasoline vapors from escaping into the atmosphere. These vapors are what you're smelling. The fix? Well, this is often the easiest and cheapest solution you could hope for. First, just try tightening it. Maybe the last time you got gas, you didn't twist it on all the way until it clicked. Or maybe it just worked itself a little loose. Give it a good firm twist. Most caps are designed to click several times when they're properly tightened. If it was loose and tightening it solves the smell, then congratulations, you just saved yourself a headache. But what if it's tight and you still have the smell? or it feels like it's not sealing right. Take a close look at the cap itself. Is the plastic cracked or damaged? More importantly, inspect the rubber O-ring or seal on the inside of the cap. This seal is what presses against the filler neck to keep those vapors locked in. Over time, this rubber can dry out, crack, become brittle, or even go missing entirely. If that seal is compromised, it doesn't matter how tight you crank the cap, vapors will escape. If you see any damage to the cap or the seal looks shot, don't even bother trying to MacGyver a fix. A new gas cap is one of the cheapest parts you can buy for your car. We're talking a few bucks, maybe 20 or 30 for a good quality one. You can pick one up at any auto parts store or even order one online. Just make sure you get the right one for your specific make, model, and year. So before you panic and assume you have a massive, expensive fuel leak, do yourself a favor, check that gas cap. All right, so you've checked for obvious fuel leaks and your gas cap is tighter than a drum, 
or you've replaced it, but you're still getting that lovely aroma of gasoline in or around your car. What's next on the checklist? Well, now we start diving into some of the more complex systems, and a prime suspect is something called the EVAP system. That's EVAP, short for Evaporative Emissions Control System. Modern vehicles have an EVAP system, short for Evaporative Emissions Control. Its main job is to prevent those gasoline vapors we talked about from escaping your fuel tank and fuel system into the atmosphere. Think of it like your car's way of holding its breath. Instead of just venting those fumes out, the EVAP system captures them, stores them temporarily, and then feeds them into the engine to be burned off when you're driving. It's all about reducing pollution. But like any system on your car, the EVAP system can develop problems. It's made up of a bunch of components, hoses, valves, sensors, and a crucial part called a charcoal canister. If a valve gets stuck open or closed, a hose cracks or comes loose, or the charcoal canister gets saturated with fuel or damaged, then those vapors aren't being managed correctly. And guess what? They could leak out, causing that gas smell you're trying to get rid of. You might also see a check engine light if this is the case. The EVAP system is closely monitored by your car's computer, the ECU or PCM. If it detects a leak or a valve not working right or incorrect vapor flow, it'll trigger that dreaded light on your dashboard. You'll often get codes like P0440, EVAP system malfunction, P0441, incorrect purge flow, P0442, small leak detected, P0455, gross leak detected, or P0446, vent control circuit malfunction, among others. These codes are clues for your mechanic. Diagnosing EVAP system problems can be a bit tricky for the average DIYer. While you can visually inspect hoses for cracks or loose connections, pinpointing a faulty valve or a small leak often requires specialized tools, most notably a smoke machine. So, if your gas cap is good and you don't see any obvious liquid fuel leaks, the EVAP system is a very strong contender for that gasoline odor. All right, let's get under the hood for this next one. If you're smelling gas near the engine or through your vents, you might be dealing with leaky fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are precision components, and when they fail, they can cause that unwelcome gasoline perfume. Leaky or cracked fuel injectors can spray gas into the engine bay. They operate under high pressure, spraying a fine mist of fuel into your engine cylinders. If an injector leaks from its body, O-rings, or pintle, fuel can escape where it shouldn't. You might notice a rough, idle, poor fuel economy, or a stronger smell near the hood. Raw fuel on a hot engine block is a serious fire hazard. A mechanic can test and replace faulty injectors if needed. Look for fuel residue or active seepage around the injector body or its seals. Sometimes the leak is internal, requiring specific tests to spot. Often replacing just the O-rings can solve the problem if the injector itself is still good. So if the gas smell is strong around your engine, get those injectors checked out by a competent mechanic. We've covered liquid fuel leaks, gas cap issues, and leaky injectors. But what if the smell isn't raw gasoline, but a rich, gassy exhaust fume inside your car's cabin? This could be an exhaust leak, which is dangerous. Exhaust gases entering your cabin might smell like gas due to a cracked exhaust manifold or broken pipe. Your car's exhaust system carries harmful byproducts away from you. If there's a breach, fumes can enter the cabin. A rich running engine can make exhaust smell like gasoline. Exhaust leaks can also leak carbon monoxide, causing headaches or dizziness. If you experience these symptoms, get fresh air and have your car checked immediately. Gas smells in your car aren't just unpleasant. They're a red flag you shouldn't ignore. If this video helped you understand what might be going on, give it a like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any car questions. I respond to as many as I can. Seriously, folks, that gasoline odor is your car's way of telling you something needs immediate attention. Whether it's a simple loose gas cap or something more serious like a fuel or exhaust leak, getting to the bottom of it quickly is key to your safety and your car's health. We've covered the main culprits today, from the dangerous fuel leaks and exhaust issues to the more common gas cap problems and those sneaky EVAP system faults. Drive safe, stay alert, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you've got car questions, I've got answers. Keep those wheels turning and those engines purring smoothly and without any unwanted smells.